Peggy 18. I have the Young Garu Gagwin quest and I've leveled it to high rank. We we're supposed to be grinding it so we could upgrade each of our weapons. Which DLC is that? It's not DLC. <laughs> oh. It's not in Tokyo. Wow. Yeah, Monster Young Garuga is a subspecies of Pyropteryx. It's annoying, it poisons you, and it does cocaine. It does what? <laughs> cocaine. It doesn't do cocaine. <laughs> oh god. Hey, I don't it know secretly why. rocks so the clown from Metalocalypse. Yeah, that's what I saw in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I do cocaine. Hello and welcome to a special episode of the podcast. Sponsored by Brazzers, as we get attacked by four monsters at the same time. Uh, and I will die. I will wow, wow. die. <laughs> if you're lucky. Okay, but seriously though, <laughs> hello everybody. Welcome to the Life Hunt Podcast episode 39. Of your host of the evening will be, as usual, Pixel Polish. And with me are, starting from the left, Dara. Good evening. Sir Bananas. Bon Jovi. And never blue. Hello. And we're gonna kick ass and chew bubble gum and get gang banged by multiple monsters at the same time. <laughs> Om chicka wah wah. That sounds like an evening. Yep. Gotta gotta make it fun, right? Gotta make it fun. Uh, but yeah. Let me choose a mission, and we're gonna pray in a sec. DLC. What do we have here? Uh, which missions those were? Lords of Demons or Ultimate Heroes? Those those missions? Yes, those would be us. Two, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so starting with the mm, Lord of Demons, at least there will be no Blood Hunters. Not no two Blood Hunters. There will be still one of them. That will be actually hilarious for the viewers too. She yes. just get murdered like this. Uh, oh, uh, I actually already prayed, so I'm gonna fake it as usual. Gestures. Okay. Okay. Sink uh, us. Uh, okay. Okay. Wait. Where's the? Huh? Where's the? Yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> one. Pray station. That was not racist. <laughs> Antidote. I will not get poisoned. Does anything Ever. even poison in that mission? I don't even remember what I've got. Wait, abilities, no, surveillance. Oh, actually, that's good because this, that's good for the bow. And there we blow. There will be death. Uh, well, I guess I guess we'll see. I'm pretty sure I will die at least once because I'm gonna be doing a lot of tanking during the well, second part of the me. fight. Aren't you? Aren't you like bulletproof or something? And not entirely. Remember that two blood hunters can still murder me easily. And let's not even say about a blood hunter and a pyro grinder uh, together. Eh, you're too modest. Okay, let me focus on the horn. And in the meantime, guys, what has been happening in your beautiful lives for the last two weeks? Who's gonna go first? Go first? Let's see. I. Well, I think the most common thread is, I got Monster Hunter 4. Well, yeah, uh, mm. that's something that you can all say, I guess. Yep. Yay. But, hey, you but the most important part about it is that Neverblue is finally getting schooled in, in, the, in the original hunting action game, so... Getting yeah. my cherry popped. Yeah. <laughs> so now he understands. Now he understands everything. I guess. One thing that no other not, hunting game has guys. to deal with is capturing. <laughs> it is annoying. Sometimes. Sometimes capturing it's Capturing right. is awesome. I, this is, as I said, my monster. preferred way of doing that. Oh yeah, and stupid online randoms. Oh yes, now well, oh, that is something randoms. that's very hard to avoid if you if you don't have like consistent bodies to play with. The token uh, and the soul sacrifice. I could play with randoms and they shouldn't be totally idiots. Because all you gotta do is kill what's in front of you. Yeah, the thing about me is that 
I would much rather a hundred times fight solo than with any random person at all. No, I just oh, hate all of anti -social, them. Anti-social, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> no, it's called being awesome and on your own. Speaking of solo, I also have done something new. I have actually found myself a significant other. I am oh, no longer yeah. alone, guys. Ah, nice. uh, yeah. Grats, now I can man. no longer make the jokes. Well, I can still because she's probably going to get rid of me <laughs> as soon as she can. <laughs> Always an optimist. Keep your hopes up. Keep your hopes up. <laughs> oh, no. She keeps telling me that I'm annoying and mean and, you know, I say the same, so evidently it's hate at first sight. Well, if this is, you know, how you, how you guys like it, then, yeah. It That's how the you. Irish do it. Yeah. Uh, the biggest way to tell someone you love someone in Ireland is to basically call them a faggot. And an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> so do, you, do you call your girl a faggot? <laughs> no. Although I am that pretty woman-like in some ways, so she may be a lesbian. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I'm joking. She'd probably kill me if she... Thankfully, she's not into video games or anything like that, so she's never going to watch this. And then somebody will send her a link. Do I so. Will. I'll I'll be be well, no, she's not going to. This. She wouldn't bother watching. She'd say, "Oh, is this thing that Dara is doing? Uh, it's stupid. It's dumb." <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to get her into gaming, man. This is the this is the only way. You need a healer. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> if a guy asks you to uh, play with him, it means that you're special. Also, that he needs a healer. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's de definitely. Oh crap! I can't if, use magic. If you're a hardcore gamer, oh. you need to. If you haven't found a girl that is a, uh, well, at least a little bit into games, that then you need to make her, you know, I'm convince her to get a little bit into games. Use the skills again. It's yeah, only no, just a problem if that. she is like completely, completely against, and she, for for whatever reason she's got some weird hatred against all things video games, then. You're in trouble. I don't think she has like a hatred, she just, but she... She's just not interested. Uh, well, one thing is that apparently one of her ex-boyfriends was complete dick and would make her... Basically, their dates would be she'd go around the weekends and he'd play Call of Duty in front of her. Oh. So, you know, It's like that GTA just... V poster. At least play okay, Uncharted. I know that one. With the girl st like standing in the doorway and, and the guy playing Xbox, Xbox giving her a big fuck you. <laughs> nah, if, you, if you're gonna play anything, play something That's with some mom, story. I think. So that it's like, at least the person getting a movie out of it. Yes, no, this she's is... not interested in that kind of thing, but... Uh, yeah. But this is true. My, my girlfriend was not into games at all, ever. And she only started slowly getting into that. I mean, she, she never became like a full-time gamer like me or anything, but we, we, do, we do occasionally play even Master Hunter, so, so there's that. And it all started with me playing Prince of Persia Sons of Time on my PC and she just enjoyed the story and the acrobatics that she saw on the screen and this is this is basically yeah that was the beginning of it. That's how you get get them cuz like even my mom enjoys when I play some of my games cuz we ask she be asking, "Oh, what's going to happen to that character and stuff?" Yeah. Did that character ever find her father? It's not like, you know, if, if that, as I've said, if that person is not, like, doesn't have, like, gameophobia or something, then there's always a way. <laughs> no, I'm just imagining. Did she ever find her father? Uh, that's Cloud. That's not a girl, Mom. What, well, no, I was playing Fallout and I was playing a female <laughs> I player. know, but that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, that's a pretty I lady. I have to uh, try mom. to explain, but it'll be kind of hard to say. Welcome to Japanese games. Address. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you, obviously you might have a little hard, hard time getting uh, girls that are not interested into games into very, very Japanese games. And I'm not talking about Tukiden Japanese because this one is very normal for Japan. Very, very, unnaturally normal. Like hey, where's males, the, there's no tentacles in this. This doesn't count. Yes, and males look like, ma look like males while females still look like females. So at least you can see the difference. They get away with it being uh, like they were almost told not that they couldn't call it Japanese, but they were they saved it by having a little girl who's apparently 60 years old. Yeah. 
I still have made her wall. sickle because I can't because I'm a bitch. Uh oh. Ouch, Get that was off. very painful just now. I'm running. How is he holding up? Oh wow, and that's the first monster out of the four. Whoops. <laughs> well, that's oh, that's. Oh, down, 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 down. Oh, down. If it's lower, down. Flying high, man. Fell down first. Oh, I haven't at, been playing this for a while. At least it wasn't blue, yeah. <laughs> and I just wasted my freaking fountain. Well, I'm, I'm just sure doing hit and run. For this. Well, that's the way you're meant to play as a... As a that, you know? But yeah, speaking of Monster Hunter, maybe I'm just gonna get something out of the way. And then we will proceed to whatever whatever else there is to talk about. Uh, lay down a circle. You have already have the have the game and I will be thanks to my awesome viewers joining you quite soon hopefully in less than a month the fundraiser was a freaking success uh, we have no, not only reached the minimum goal for the 2ds capture kit but but for a proper uh, or, you know regular 3ds capture kit uh, even with the circle bot pro so hey it will be it will be happening soon enough. Congrats! Soon enough. So I now we have to get about a billion, you know, years ahead of you, so that you never catch up. Uh, yeah. Uh, we will be helping with that. Catching, no, catching up will be interesting because there will be a lot of it in a month. You'll probably catch up to me. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see, but yeah, it would not be possible without you guys, without my beautiful viewers. And I, I am stunned because uh, all, literally like a, only a dozen people, uh, you know, contributed to the fundraiser. And that was still enough. 483 bucks. E the exact amount needed to, to the dollar. I mean, uh, there's some, you know, banks still like... Fifteen dollars out of that, but I, I, this this much I can manage. Then I just need to buy the memory card and the game. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, can you tell me if uh, the like original 3DS comes with any sort of memory card, or do you have to buy something for it? it normally Not comes with like four a GB, four gig, I think. Or eight gig, isn't it? Four gig, I think. Yeah, four gig. Are we talking the regular old school small 3DS? Yeah, SD uh, card. I think so. Oh, okay. So at least, at least uh, there's that. I mean, those are probably like ten bucks, but that's see the problem still... with the new 3DS. They went to micro SD, and now you yeah. gotta take the fucking case off. Oh yeah, tell me uh, about it. Yeah, but once you put the like the bigger size in, you can kind of micromanage it through the little app they added to it. I I've seen the, some uh, data transfer videos, horror stories, pretty much. Not the best way of doing this, uh, yeah, stuff. Yeah, I had but, my own little uh, horror story. Yeah, it, it, it is what it is. That all I had to do was drag the stuff to another folder, and everything worked. Uh, yeah, I bet. It, I bet that it's easier for people who actually use their PCs. Well, uh, my my horror story was that it created another folder to get its information. So all I did was take from my old folder over there, and then everything was working. That wasn't re-downloading everything. That's a horror story. Well, it was annoying. Like I said, if I didn't have my knowledge in computers, mm, I'd probably Twitch. have an issue. I, I remember one time when I, my, my hard drive crashed and I had to uh, figure out a way to get my files off of it. Oh yeah, that can be a pain in the butt. Yeah, but I figured it out, thanks to Google. Pretty much See, anyone who knows how to use Google should be able this to get is, it. This is this is it. Uh, this is this the the part that I really don't understand about the millennials, if you know what I mean. Uh, like, we've got, you've got Google, you've got all the freaking knowledge in the world, and people are still asking stupid questions every day. Oh uh, yeah, that, that's a big problem everywhere. I see people asking questions. We had, I mean, Hunter, we like, had to figure out stuff it. before the internet. It's so easy. And, and now you can just man. type in a sentence in Google and uh, bam, you're done. You've got like 10,000 freaking results. 
and they'll still ask dumb questions. Like, one of the things that yeah. really annoys me so is say. on the Freedom Wars one, how do I do this? How do I do that? It's on the fucking wikia. I wrote it for you, sons of it's bitches. It's on the wikia. It's, uh, the, all the links are in the documentation on the, on the, in the group itself. So, really, it just, it just takes two or three clicks. He doesn't want to just... leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I did have you have Tom Tom? fighting this one monster, and I was trying to think what weapon do I need to use against it, but then I found out that you, you just post to hit it's in the leg. You can't hit the body. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, so hey, that's pretty much all of my week. It's been nothing particularly special. So, just, well, uh, I would say that was, that was pretty pretty special. Both yeah, of the, but, all, hey, those the, things. Nothing else I said, as in, I've got a... Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much the... here's the thing, I have spent most of my time either on The Girlfriend or with Monster Hunter 4 you. And that's uh, if not both, if it. possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's often not possible. You're living the high life, man. I don't know, I don't have enough money. <laughs> then I will. Have fun with that. Well, money comes and goes, you know. There are other I things. More I wish it didn't there. go so much and it came more. Uh, oh, yeah, well, tell me about it. I mean, the fundraiser itself was the the biggest proof that sometimes it, <laughs> it can be a problem. Okay. If you Demon haven't Demon made destroyer one. already, I'm gonna bring them together with a taunt. So oh, try have, to get them don't have my together destroyer with yet. one destroyer yeah. if you can. I have wasted yeah. one of mine. Oh, what the crap? There's two of them? Yeah. Yep. I'm and gonna oh. fire. I uh, think three? I'm going to start chipping, oh. chipping oh, away his, his sickles. I, I thought it was... Uh, yeah, I I don't like this situation, guys. I really don't. Gangbang! Bang. Welcome to... Me and Pixel did it a lot the age of brothers. With... Yeah. We were... We're dueling, like, all of these missions. Okay, sorry, just, I just thought of, hey, welcome to Tokiden, the Age of Brazzers. You <laughs> are the fuckers who get fucked. <laughs> Remember, no loo. I just, I just hate Pyro Grinder and here sliding all over you while you're busy fighting yes. the, the spider. No, thanks to that video you run. showed me earlier, I, I'm kind of glad that no one ever made like a furry TV show. Oh my god, that, that oh. video just killed me. <laughs> like the, the final transfer, the, the final transformation. But, oh, no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> the, the, the bad guy was just like, nope, <laughs> master, don't leave us here. <laughs> I love you, hip hop. <laughs> yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to include a bit of that video in your podcast now. I, I guess I will. I'm not sure about this. I don't think I watched it. I think I'm better for it. <laughs> You would have to send sorry. Yeah, you're, missing, you're missing out, man. You're missing I'm out. I'm not sure about that. We, we can take a short break uh, and you can check it out. Nope. Master? No, don't leave us! You know, I, I think I need to have a moment in like one of my stories where the bad guy just says nope and just pieces the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the best moment of that video, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's it smells like wet fur and sex. <laughs> oh, that sounds like Saturday night for me. No, that was that was beautiful. How did I miss it? Like this video is like around year old or something, and I never saw it before. Somebody just posted it on Facebook today. I've seen today. it like at least a year ago. So and there are like two like more of the, the of these party. videos, so I will have to definitely check it out today. What, they made more of that team? Uh, I I th saw uh, two and three, at least. I don't know if there's more than that, but there's at least I two was, more. Uh, also, when I was looking at it, I looked at um, something about like superhero uh, death, um, sim uh, ah, funerals. But it's cool to know that you know the college humor st still rocks because, honestly. I haven't been watching College Humor videos for like good seven years. I, I found them the, uh, for the first time when YouTube wasn't even a thing and then I completely forgot about them. It was just on their website, you know, with some proprietary player, whatever. 
And they are still they're still going strong. Mm. Cool. Cool. I mean, you know, there's, there so. there will be always colleges, right? <laughs> yep. And there shall always be humor, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, but okay, so who's next? Who wants to talk about their week? Who wants to talk about their feelings? Well, maybe I I'm gonna so. top it top it off with say, uh, with a little thank you to Blue because yeah. Uh, you gave me the idea to check out the uh, Cowboy Bebop because I don't like anime and this was supposed to be very different and hell it was! Oh yeah, it's one of the best ones. Oh yes, uh, I, I love it. Now I love it. I, I kinda... On one hand, I would like to see more, but on the other hand, I do appreciate the fact that it's like a... One complete story with no drawing, you know, drawn out bullcrap. Well, it, yeah, I that's what anime problem. is that are just one complete story. I don't want five, ten seasons in, and I don't know what the hell going on anymore. Because half the yeah, shoes that's, is, half sometimes the show that is can filler. become a problem, definitely. But don't you understand? Like Naruto has actually found Sasuke and has actually gone to a gay relationship with him. Uh, I'm pretty sure that happened in Shippuden. Or was that <laughs> one of those fan comics I read? That was probably a fan comic. Don't damn it. I don't know that. Next thing about that. Okay. The, uh, but yeah, I really enjoy the on relationships to understand what type of relationship that is. He did have a girl that Kansi liked him forever, and he never noticed her till she nearly sacrifices herself. I yeah. think it's more the fact that. Uh, oh wait, are we talking about? I'm down, by the way. Oh, yeah, we have to revive Dara. Well, yeah. Naruto is he's, like he's clueless. God damn it! I'm too close. Whoa, can't help it. It's child neglect. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But you, but you know what? What I en enjoyed the most, maybe about about Cowboy Bebop, it's it kind of feels like if oh god damn it! Now the name escaped me, and and somebody will hate me for it. Uh, Pulp Fiction guy. Quentin Tarantino? Uh, Quentin, oh, yeah, yeah, it feels like if oh. Quentin Tarantino was Japanese, he would make Cowboy Bebop. Probably, but a it'll little be bit. Blood. A little bit. Maybe not, <laughs> you know, literally, but it, it'll be more feels blood like and that. Someone will get shot it has that, top. you know, 70s action movie kind of feel. Uh, one thing that was uh, a little cringeworthy at first is that in uh, between some of the scenes in some of episodes, uh, there's like a huge quote on the scene. Uh, saying that the work that will become a genre of itself is called Cowboy Bebop. I was like a little bit, oh, uh, you really that full of yourself? But then when I, you know, watched more of it, I was like, yeah, I guess, you know, at, le at least you know your worth and, and you are not me, bullshitting. Come for me, Bloodhunter. You cannot yeah, find I me. It also, what showed that show on me was the music. Uh, yeah. I mean, literally everything. Like, maybe the art style was a little off-putting for me at first, but I uh, quickly, like, adjusted to it. And honestly, I think I, I actually enjoy it more than the new wave of uh, anime with all the cutesy, you know, male slash female, who the fuck they are, Kind of, nah. kind of thing. I, I prefer the ones that seem semi real, semi realistic. Yeah, th that's why I like, for instance, I very much like the style of Tukiden Cinematics. You can see that it's slightly uh, anime, but it's like human like. Like another anime I like is Ghost in the Shell. Oh, yeah, I mean, that one I do enjoy as well. I, I mean, I, I didn't watch the watch whole this. anime series, but I watched the movies back, way back in the day, and oh, I did like it. And Apple Seed, Apple Seed is another one that I did enjoy. Yeah, every once in a while they always make a new Apple Seed. <laughs> Wait, what? I've seen like three different Apple Seeds so far. Huh? Yeah, Last... they always make a new Apple Seed. It, like, one was computer generated. Oh wow, okay. I didn't know that. The last one I watched was in like 1998, I believe, so that might have been the first? What? Yeah, I saw the, the, the sure anime, really. uh, the computer-generated one, once. Okay, that, that I did not know. Yeah, I think they did another one, I was like, what? 
it's like it's wow, just it's like the, it's just the same decide, thing hey, but uh, remade over point. and over huh is that just the same thing remade over and over or is that I like think the stories uh be different it's just the same characters ah okay but well that why won't they just title it Apple C2, 3, etc. Or just give it a subtitle or something. I think it had a subtitle. Ah, okay. So you're mess it's just messing with me right now. Well, no, but it's just like, it'd be looking so different from the previous ones that it almost seemed like it's a remake. It's like, one is 2D drawings, look like old as hell. Then you get one that's 3D computer Well, the generated. one I watched was uh, classic 2D drawings, but I believe the backdrops were computer generated. I almost think they like, whenever an anniversary comes up for that shit, they just do a new one. Well, maybe it's a, such a cult hit in Japan or something. Yeah, it's probably more about the setting. I'm on fire. I finally got knocked it's out. It's okay. I will be knocked out. Grilled I'm on blue. fire. Oh, oh, stop jumping roll. Stop jumping roll. I put so the fire who's, out. Hey, we're going to have oh, to talk about other people's weeks. Yes. We have to move on. So, yeah, who's next? Yeah, I suppose I could go next because it kind of flows, but we were speaking of anime and mm -hmm. maybe on, there is an animated cartoon I've got into recently. For two reasons, it's Avatar The Last Airbender, not the movie by Night Shyamalan because that was complete garbage, but the animated series, I've looked That's at good. it a few times and I wanted to check it out because it made me curious honestly. And another reason for that is that in the game I'm trying to create, two of my characters have fighting styles kind of similar to the characters in that universe. So I was thinking maybe I can get a bit of an inspiration or see how how to actually uh, portray the, that kind of fighting style to see if I could make a could make something based on around that but still with, with its own nuance and its own science behind it and so so far I've watched only four episodes but I'm pretty hooked in for, so far and I'm hoping that this will get even more interesting uh, the further I get into the show. Oh, it does. I think I saw like a couple of random episodes on TV, but never really tried to watch, you know, look look for more of that. It's a good show, and as each season it gets, it got better and better because it got more serious. Because yes, uh, from I, I, what I've seen, uh, at least that was my that was my first impression. It's not a Japanese show, right? No. Yeah. No, it's okay. American. Oh yeah, because it definitely didn't look like anime. Well, it's, it's similar more style. To mimic it. Style anime, but not Japanese. No, it's from the like typical, very recognizable anime. is It's very far uh, from that, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I did see... I don't even remember when, but I did see a couple of episodes. It was cool, but I, I wasn't like immediately... Oh, I need to watch everything. Well, initially, the impression is that it is actually meant to be a kids' program. So, yeah, I, I can understand why you wouldn't say instantly. <laughs> yeah, it gets serious as it goes. Yeah, the one that I watched, or the two, or what, however few I watched, they, they were kind of serious. They're, they're, I mean, there, there was humor that I liked, which was... which is not very... doesn't happen very often. Well, it doesn't go like super serious. Like all of a sudden, it's super depressing. Like, uh, oh, and then it? the entire Full nation died. Is? Everything changed like, when Alchemist? the Fire Nation got destroyed by a meteorite. Like, <laughs> Are you just spoiling funny. now or pulling no, stuff up from the? No, from I'm, your I'm ass? joking. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying how yeah, that could be extremely not be spoiling impressive. With me around. I only started watching. The last thing I need to know is how it ends. And yeah, who knows? Maybe I will want to watch it one day as well. It turns out Aang is Luke Skywalker. <laughs> well, that would be something. And Darth Vader the was Lord all along the Force Bender. There's the Force no thing as Force Bender, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you even talking about? Get your lore right. That was made of the bitch. Force Bender, new, new anime on TV. <laughs> Force Bender. <laughs> uh, Question Is it Bender from Futurama with the Force? Or. <clears throat> 
No, it's ba both. Bender is the, <laughs> is the far, fart breaker. Yeah, wind, and wind the of Bender that would be the, would be the wind. Bender is windbreaker. The best show of ever. And always. And as for what else has been going on, if I can go back to the topic of mm -hmm. Monster Hunter for you, mate. I've been playing a lot with my friends and everything, and we usually pray, 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 play in you and your freaking PlayStation in it. <laughs> play, <laughs> it's play working, voice call it's working, calls, guys. and we we're like re really like a com little community, and we're very into that. And we were playing the other day, and I think I kind of went completely overboard because they keep referencing me as the angry Frenchman. Well, aren't you? Like <laughs> all your friends that you play with? Yeah, because I, I, I seriously, all of a sudden, kind of went over the t over the top mad in a joke you kind snapped. of way, not seriously mad, but it, it it was still like I was getting beaten like hell Ooh, in a I lot of combo so by the Ratian and Rathalos together. Mm -hmm. Like Rathalos has spitted a fireball at my face and then immediately it comboed into a claw a claw attack from the sky which poisoned me and stunned me so i had fire and poison on me and then the retalos was getting ready to come back at me clawing me again and it ended up killing me because for a whole while i couldn't do nothing my hp just went from full to zero in a matter of that i couldn't do anything so I just started yelling, thinking, why are you people not using life powders on me? I freaking saved your asses tons of times, and you can't even life powder me. No, the baby <laughs> powder on me. I was freaking angry, like... My butt is sore, I need baby this. powder. <laughs> <laughs> I took a dragon ball to the face for you, and you couldn't life powder me. It was, it was a dragon ball to the face? I started getting mad and yeah, crying everything at the same time. Oh, okay. It was crazy. I know dragon ball. It's the kind of fun you can have it only in Monster Just Hunter. Just to the face. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the thing about the dragon balls to the face... It's another story from 3 Ultimate. When me, Rebel, and a bunch of other friends were, were playing and... Well, we were fighting Stygian Zinogar and Rebel was setting a trap to uh, get ready to capture Zinogar, but at the same time, it started charging its Dragon Balls and aimed them at Rebel, and I could see that from the other side of the Zinogar that it was aiming for her, and the, the first thought that came to my mind is that I must not let Zinogar interrupt her setting up the trap or hurt her in the process. So I ran all the way around the Zinogar, I put myself right in between her and the Dragon Balls to try and put my shield up when I was using the lance to protect her from the dragon balls. In the end, she didn't get hit by the dragon balls, but I did because somehow my shield failed and I got hit anyway. But I protected her from the dragon balls. I Seriously, the this guy's just deciding, okay, I'm gonna go across the entire yeah. fucking map. I just I just went ahead to refresh my skills and he was like, but I got this guy. <laughs> it's just, uh, these three hunters, who the fuck gives a shit about them? Pixel, you're yeah. mine! He, he's the one recording, I need to destroy the evidence. Yeah, I actually died in the exact same way in Monster Hunter for Ultimate recently. We're, three of my buddies were fighting Pinky and in a corner of the room. I completely ran to the other opposite end to drink a potion uh, safely, and Ian decided, that guy, I'm gonna chop him down. I'm gonna fly at him, guy. chop his face with my tail, and I died. Because of all the people chopping uh, chopping Pinky and at the same time, all around it, pissing it off, he decided to strike the one person that was not there. But wait, there is a P Pink Ian Garuga? No, Pink Ratian. Oh, because you said Ian, 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 I was like, what? Oh yeah, I just often shortened it down to Ian, like I am. Because otherwise it would be Rathos, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but yeah, I've I've heard that uh, I've seen people uh, using that short for for Raytheon a bit, but it's just right now when Ian Garuga is back, it's just too confusing. No, oh, yeah, Ian Garuga is a special case, but he he he's not the one who killed me that way. No, 
Pink Racing really particularly hated me that day, apparently. Yeah, he got no tail. Yeah. And that's BF yet another anecdote. If no I may take a Where bit more it? time. Oh, I don't have tons to play right away there, if I can right. Uh, anyway, so a little another anecdote that happened while I was hunting solo, fighting the Ratian uh, and Rathavos together, and I had forgotten dog bombs, so I couldn't lure them away from each other. So I was fighting them both. And what happened is that, well, in two, two different things happened. The first thing that happened is that at one point I was fighting both of them and they were standing on each side of me and getting Ow. ready to spit a fireball at me. And so I saw that coming and I decided I'm diving under the Ratian. I'm gonna try and dodge that by diving under the Ratian. They ended up spitting their fireball at the same time and exploding each other's face. That was pretty hilarious. And then... That's true, love. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so much for being a wife and husband. Uh, and then the next thing that happened... It was, the Ratian started limping, uh, trying to get to safety, and Rathalos was still trying to kill me. And so Rathalos flew into the air and started charging a fireball at me. I decided to be a coward again. And I I decided to uh, roll right under the Ratian, and Rathalos threw a fireball at Ratian's face. And then it wasn't enough. Yeah, he isn't that, isn't that yeah. beautiful? Speaking of brothers, <laughs> <laughs> what a scene! He unloaded on her. Yeah, and then with the fireball, it wasn't enough. He decided he had to try and claw my face off too. And I was still under the Ratian, and then he clawed Ratian dead. Ratian oh, okay. died by her husband. I guess, I guess he was jelly. Jelly much? I don't know, he, well, he you were under her, man. Yeah, you, I decided he got I'm gonna hide right under Ratian to get and, mad. and use Ratian as a shield. And he killed Ratian. I am a cruel person. <laughs> Destroying marriages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so... I, I killed a monster by being a coward. How likely is that? <laughs> Huh. Well, a, a true man would have walked away. <laughs> yeah, and then in the end, I killed the Ritalos too, and they had babies, and they never hatched. The end. Everybody's happy. I'm a cool person. Except for the dead people. They're never happy. Only in Monster Hunter does stuff like that happen. <laughs> yeah, I miss, I miss uh, that in the other games. Like, uh, monsters actually hitting each other and hurting each other, because I don't think any of the games so far did that. I've never seen uh, a situation where one of the demons would kill another one by nope, accident. Nope, because they go right through one another. It's kind of bullshit. I mean, but no, the fireballs and stuff like that, they, they actually hit, you know, the, uh, they hit each other with those, but it just doesn't seem like they deal any damage. Any damage. I mean, I guess it can be explained in the lore, since, you know, maybe it's like the same kind of energy doesn't doesn't work against each other or something like that, because they are made of freaking demon miasma. Yeah, uh, and technically it's also exploring, hey, the reason why Monster Hunter monsters hit each other is also explained in the lore, because they prey off of each other. It's literally an ecosystem there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, if I go up against a herbivore and an omnivore, the omnivore is going to try attack the herbivore. Stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and the Devil Joe is going to try and eat its own tail. But I always, why not? I always enjoyed uh, like inner monster fighting since since basically Doom. Because this is <laughs> fight, the fight, 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 fight. This is the f I think the first time that I that they did it at least you know uh, in a game that somebody knows about uh, when one monster uh, or demon or whatever would hit another one in doom they would start hitting each other and that was the case ever since in any id software games i really enjoyed like lurking uh, some other mobs in quake 2 to attack the tanks and take them out that way that was fun Something I different. think I'm pretty much done with my week, so if you want to move on to the next part. Yeah, so Blue? everybody killing everybody in my in my game. 
You had some nice, nice, nice adventures in Monster Hunter. Trying to be just like you. how Oblivion had their AI when they first tested. Talk about your week. <laughs> <laughs> What? Dara, Dara lost his patience. <laughs> talk about your mother. Like the, when I was saying, oh, how about you guys talk about your week? Oh, let's talk about something else. <laughs> talk about your okay. fucking week, you sons of bitches. <laughs> well, the, talking about your week is just like a, you know, it's just like something to break the ice and then you move. Talk about whatever you wish. That's, yeah, that's all the whole right, idea. Just went angry Frenchman on blue. I am doing no, angry Irishmen were much better at you Angry Irishmen, yeah. We're much better at you than the you guys. The ire of Ireland. Uh, so is it my turn? <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah, it seems okay. like it. Well, I've been, like, um... Working. Okay. Nice. Yeah, uh, I do, um... I'm moving on! animations for this one company. <laughs> I've been training to learn this new tutorial for this orc plugin. Which is an RPG RPG plugin for um, Unity. Mm -hmm. Looks really good, pretty good. Um, the company I'm working for is planning to is planning to pay the person who made Orc plugin to set the put in something that so we can have uh, like horse mounting or boat mounting. Oh, so paying for some custom job for the for the plugin? Yeah, it's gonna be free for everybody, so it benefits me because I'm gonna use the plugin for my own game idea. <laughs> so now I can have horses, which fits for a Western game. I can't have a Wild West without horses. Yeah, and boats, which doesn't. I mean, it would be a pretty cool twist if if you would just completely replace horses with something else completely. I like could, some but other I still uh, need rideable something. animal. Some it fantasy doesn't matter one, if I replace it. It's just still I need something to mount. Yeah, you it, need it a would mount. Make no exactly. sense if, no, if I'm in the Wild West and we're not riding some type of animal. So I can like leave. those. Those I don't remember their names. Uh, but there were there were like two-legged, uh, kind of scaly horseish animals in Ultima oh. Online, which you could tame and and, and mount. That that would be pretty cool. Whoa! <laughs> Somebody <laughs> blown away. Now who I walked into to... it now, huh? Who walked into it? <laughs> That's the second time, and then I don't think I'm not sure if I got hit by the beam or something else. No, I, no, they were referring to the fact that I just walked into the explosion trying to get yeah. at you. And I went fucking flying. It was awesome. Glorious. You but you see, video? Uh, you see, at least here, uh, you can still see that the animation of the explosion is going. Lately, I've yep. been playing a little bit of Freedom Unite just to refresh my memory. You know, uh, when it comes to the old monsters from the second gen. And today, I've been fighting Monoblos. And this just reminded me how ho fantastically broken Freedom Unite was. Like seriously, there's uh, Monoblos is charging at you, and then he like makes a power slide. Uh, but it was a pretty tiny area, so he would hit hit the wall and stop sliding. So he would be completely stationary. So I was, uh, since I was using dual blades, I would instantly rush towards him to to s you know cut his legs or whatever. But apparently, even though the animation was not uh, going anymore, the like underlying mechanic b behind of it was still going and I was like you know pushed like by a truck into a wall even though I approached the guy from behind and, and he was not moving at all <laughs> physics horrible, don't work like this horrible 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 experience that reminds me of valve physics of what physics Valve physics. That's what we always say when I play with my friends in Left 4 Dead. Uh, it's like, oh, you can shoot through every wall, but this wall, and this stuff happens, and it's just weird shit. And it's like, seriously, you should not be able to shoot through every wall and just perfectly kill something on the other side. Well, they just took it from Counter Strike, that mechanic. And also, to be f well, uh, didn't they? No, never mind. But uh, technically, in America, you guys have. Really oh, yes. shitty walls by comparison yeah. to into Europe. We have brick. We have brick. We we've got you know like concrete, not this paper mache. Yeah, thing. it should be like reduced damage or something. It's just like I people shooting I can through put walls my and I'm fist dead through your walls. <laughs> yes, pretty much. My bullet has no problem. Don't even start. It makes perfect sense. People shooting through metal doors. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's a bit much. I'll admit. Yes. If you're talking and about through the depends. bars, depends. 
Yeah. If, if this is just like a regular apartment metal door that it's thin, you, you mm -hmm. definitely should throw it. If it's like a reinforced door, well then, yeah, that's a different story. And it's okay, like, how many people perfectly somehow figure out where you are or between, around, through the wall? They can't see you, but they know perfectly how to sh one Whoa. shot you through a wall. <laughs> what a finishing blow with a, with a flying tail. Flying tail. Oh, yeah, back on topic. Uh, I've been playing Monster Hunter uh, for you, learning a lot of new things. Nice. Fi finally, finally, he, Never Blue, joined the Hunter ranks. Finally changed my weapon style. I normally, like, every game I play, if I can carry two weapons, I'm going for that. <laughs> and see? By the way, it's it's working, guys. Like, it's really working. Did you see Blue dying? No. Well, once, maybe, but that was the I explosion. Twice. It, it was hard to dodge. Yeah, I but... Fell twice. There is progress. There is hope. There yet. is definitely progress. Well, Monster I'm, Hunter I'm training keeping is working. I'm keeping an eye on my health and everything. I guess I learned that from Monster Hunter. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Because it's not, Monster it's not for like rocket all science. Items. It's just paying attention to few stuff, a couple of things at the same time. But yeah, I, as support. I was playing that, I was getting new ideas for my own concept, and it, it, it's really helped me figure out some things I'm gonna do for my game. Like, I want it to be where you pretty much have to craft everything. Yep, that's always... I, I do enjoy that in any game. You gotta, like, work... You gotta work for your stuff. I was even trying to figure out ways to get the magic to work with finding stuff to craft it. Like, if I can design the magic to where you need materials to use the magic in the first place. Like, if I want to do, like, some special illusion thing, I gotta get certain herbs together or some stuff so I can make people hallucinate. The only thing is, I would uh, just for the sake of the fact, just making sure that no one actually despises your game, I'd have it that the... you can prepare the stuff beforehand. Like, you need to get the stuff together, but you can prepare it, and you can just have it as a usable item. Oh yeah, that's the plan. Okay, just... From the sound of it, you want to make it as hard as possible. Not really hard as possible. I just want to make it where everything's more about crafting than just buying all your good, all the good shit. No, but I was talking about your, hey, your general game. Anyway, shall we start? Go. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. So, like a lot of differences between my game and my, and like these hunting uh, hunting action games is that I'm more focused on. Like bounty hunting, so you're going after people. So I gotta. Oh dear God! What? Huh? Oh, just yeah, you know, I just saw the the mission. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do not hunters. Uh, uh, That's just uh, talking uh, about what I was saying. Uh, no, no, no. For once, it's okay. Uh, All right. Oh, I, yeah, I want to have this enough. Enough. hunting oh, bounty hunters. You're gonna be like going to their like wherever they're held up, or if they're pulling off a heist, and you gotta stop them. Um. I'm trying to picture things both as single player game and a multiplayer game. Even though my first project will probably only be single player, I want to make sure it has the same mechanics. I gotta say, I do miss me a good bounty hunting game. That's why I am so pissed about whoever messed up uh, with Prey 2, because that was supposed to be like oh, science was, fiction bounty hunting awesome. space game. FPS. That was gonna be awesome. That was that that could have been amazing, and Prey One was just sweet. I understand that Prey Two would have no, almost nothing to do with Prey One except for being in the same universe. That's uh, all it needs most of the time. Uh, uh, it has a comp it w it had a completely different concept, but it was science fiction parkour like alien and hunting. Come on! Like one's like a suspense horror movie, one's a action movie. Pretty much. But just check out the old trailers for it. It it looked so promising. I mean, it was only a cutscene, but it gave you a very good impression of what they were going for. Yeah, sadly no. Like making some deals, you know, not just shuri shuri bang bang, but you know, uh, the whole uh, bounty hunting concept uh, more or, more or less like Cabo Bebop, not just the the action parts and that's it. See, I kind of want to have that where you have to 
I want you to have to plan out how you're gonna get these outlaws and stuff. Figure out the how, what these outlaws do, so you can like exploit their habits. Yeah, that's why. That's why uh, Star Citizen can be huge for me because I'm gonna be bounty hunter there, and uh, you know, hunting the guys in space well, uh, with dogfights and everything. That's one thing, but you can like maybe follow them until they land on a planet and they go to some shady bar and wait in a dark alley and get them there. Like, mano a mano, not in a spaceship. You will be able to do all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah. See, my plan currently is to have, like, the maps be kind of like Dragon Age style in the, in the sense that you have these big open areas to do a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, and obviously in Star Citizen that will be mostly against other players, so that's another factor. You can oh, set yeah. up like a fake deal maybe, lure the guy somewhere and then... Hey, dude! It just so happens that I'm Got a bounty hunter and, he, and, you've, and you're now fucked. Well, the fact is that I was going to steal from you, I was going to basically mug you, so I brought about three other guys, so now yeah, you're the it, one who it is can, fucked. It, uh, sure, it can go that way, so you better oh, be prepared uh, for You know that situation. way you're coming from? Boom! Oh. Everybody's dead over there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I had the guys on the rooftop. Ah, oh, good, good, good. It makes it easy for my snipers to shoot them. <laughs> I think we dealt Unless with those. they are snipers. Weren't those the guys that we bribed? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> What's that oh, on your chin? The is, that a, is that a zit or a sight? Yeah, that's the, that's the thing, uh, that's the huge promising thing about Star Citizen. It can be a, f not so much a space sim, but a framework to do anything. Anything you can imagine. That's the, yeah, that's the whole he, idea. That's what kind of pissed me off with, uh, you know, the people who made EVE Online. Uh-huh. They were going to make uh, World of Darkness, which is based on, like, the Vampire the Masquerade. Oh yeah. my god, I love Vampire the Masquerade. They were going to make an MMO of that and like make it like all sandboxy style. And I like saw so much potential in that. Now they canceled it and I'm pissed oh. off that they bought the rights. They CCP, own the rights CCP to the CCP or CCP, something like that, the company is called. Oh, that's I a shame. they're not the same guys who made the uh, Bloodlines or whatever it was. No, it was no, the, no, no, the no. people who made EVE Online. Okay, it's just... The Bloodlines is... Uh, it's one of those things that it's a cult classic. People, uh, some is a people, cult classic. Yeah, because it's so janky. Oh, maybe. Yeah, uh, that Bloodlines, some people Bloodlines just can't was kind of cool shit. with all the twins and, and stuff like that. But the, the original PC game, oh yeah. Yeah, I played a bit of that as well. My brother introduced me to it. I I mean the the whole transition at one point between the t time periods. That was, I believe, the first time that I've seen that being done in a game. It, it, it was quite shocking. I had to literally readjust to something completely new. That was, that was really awesome. And you really felt, them, like, lost for, for quite a bit. To be honest, I kind of wanted them to do that for, like, Assassin's Creed, but nope. Always in the past. And uh, and the oh dear, I think I've lagged. You guys uh, are frozen. Oh no, oh no. no, yes, oh, oh, we lost you. Should we stop? Oh my no, god. No, I don't think so. And that was just the first, that was just the first monster. Yeah, Damn so it. you guys keep going. I'll just, I'll, a. Uh, I'll just, a uh, talk and okay. describe what you're doing, okay? Assist us, from the, oh, yeah. from yeah. the back also, You are fighting gamer. a big bird. I recommend not letting it fly. <laughs> it might be difficult, but I think you guys can do it. We'll do oh, yeah. our also, best. I can I break finally, his foot. Also, I finally played Shadows of Mordor. Really no, fun. I like the Nemesis system. Hey, I use a Destroyer Dad. Yeah, I'm very curious about the whole Nemesis system in there. What it's the pretty hell? Cool. Pretty much, uh, they kill each other, they kill you, they get stronger, and they, like, move up the hierarchy yeah, yeah. in ranks. And then you and develop you grudges. Like, Kind of create your own story of how you die repeatedly from this one douchebag who keeps killing you. But uh, yeah, the, the, that's the the other thing because I've never looked at it, f uh, never never checked it or anything. Uh, how is being resurrected uh, actually explained in the game? 
Well, you're dead, and you're yeah. slowly becoming a wraith. Oh. So it's basically Dark Souls in some way. Oh. Some way. Yep. And it fits okay. right into the mythology, because someone was trying to kill your family and you in a dark ritual, and I guess the spirit they were trying to summon kind of fused with you, so y'all kind of work it stuck together. And the longer you go, potentially you could become a oh, wraith. Okay, so at least it's explained, because for a, for a second there I was like, well, okay, you've got this whole system, but uh, how the hell are you coming back for revenge and all that? Uh, if there's one, well, that works both ways because uh, with the orcs that you kill, if you don't actually cut off their heads, they can be brought back to the what's well, it again to basically the spawning pits and oh, yeah, resurrected. Oh well, yeah, I mean, this this makes complete sense in the Tolkien's uh, the world. Yeah, because they were and I made. Will say, I'd hope, like, I, I, they might have done it, but I'd hope that they wouldn't say, you know what, doesn't really matter. Uh, plot and, you know, plot significance in a Tolkien game. <laughs> Lore in a Tolkien game. Yeah. Oh, gee. So it kind of fits in the lore, at least so far. I don't know, maybe it oh, goes yeah. crazy after a while. Uh, no, I think it, it does stick to the lore in some cases. It might... Uh, but I don't know a huge amount about it. Well, ultimately, the best part of it is the gameplay. Yeah, it definitely looks fun. The combat's okay. fun and exciting. It's challenging. It's like um, Arca Arkham City kind of style of combat uh, combined with uh, I think it's Assassin's almost Creed. even more, challenge more, more of a challenge than Arkham City. Arkham City is like... I could like... I could kick ass as Batman. Okay, you are Master now fighting two big spiders. Yes. Uh, With I'm listening. I recommend uh, bug spray. Did you, any of you bring some? I need, Shit, I, I didn't brand. equip the proper Mitama. God damn it. Brand. damn it. We need a brand. Right. I need I need a raid Mitama. <laughs> damn. Forgot about that. But yeah, um, pretty much the combat's really good, and it's a, a lot more challenging than Batman. Batman you can own everybody. This is like, since you got the, the captains, oh. you if you come across a captain that joins the battle that you don't know any information about their weakness, you could be doing the wrong things against them and they could be stopping your attacks. That's cool. One of my, I've never played it and I really want to play it on a modern console or on the uh, uh, PC PC. because apparently the Nemesis system doesn't work on the old systems, which just sucks, you know? Wow. Yeah, you want to play uh, it on PS4, Xbox One, or PC. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna that's basically it. play it on PC when I'm gonna get to it. Yeah, like, but I, I printed no question. it, so it, it, it's fun, it's good, I'm enjoying it. I just well, love the fact you know. that you can have these long-standing feuds with someone, and you're like, why oh, yeah. won't you fucking die? So, <laughs> oh, one example were a couple I was of guys trying who to kill the war chiefs, and this one war chief was just annoying me because I had to kill like 35 of his fucking orcs before I could even fight them. And then every time I try to kill these 35 orcs, or urarcs or whatever, um, another Oops. fucking captain would come out of nowhere and start joining in the fight and trying to kill my ass. But one of my favorite things is watching a short let's play of it and just they cut to a number of times when suddenly the cook appears and it's like, uh, okay, the cook, fine. And then uh, a few <laughs> minutes later, the cook, of, oh my, f uh, we just killed you, you motherfucker. And then the cook appeared. And it's like, holy shit, is this a glitch? <laughs> and it's not. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I love that. You, you literally could just keep playing that game and it's enjoyable. Well, that's, that's good to hear because, you know, reviews and other people's opinions are one thing, but... Hearing th hearing that from you guys that makes me makes me want to play it more. Yeah, they made a good mechanic. They made a good mechanic, and I would really love to see that mechanic in other games they make. Doesn't have necessarily have to be a Lord of the Rings game. But they just have to figure out why you die. Yeah, because that mechanic will definitely not work in a game where there is no such thing as respawning. It's just reloading. Yeah, it has to be the, that the, it, it has you to died. make sense uh, that to well, come they back. They just have to change certain things. You just won't have it where um, you die and they just change. They like you come back. You just that's game over, and they don't come back from when you kill them in any way. 
you just still have the whole hierarchy and new people coming in to take over. Mm, I suppose, but th uh, part of the charm of the Nemesis system was the fact that they would have grudges against you. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, they would be like, you're the fuck who poked my eye out. I'm gonna get you for that. My well, beautiful make a Highlander face. Game. Look at this beautiful face. Yeah, make a Highlander game. Yeah, that makes oh, sense. Oh, I, I, I'd, I'd love that. And I would love if it would have a lot of 80s cheese in it. Not, yeah. Something, something like, uh, uh, like Blood I'm Dragon. <laughs> something like Blood Dragon only, uh, you know, with swords and blue heel in the Highlander universe. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Wrong one. Yeah, it's a heel. <laughs> oh, you need to be healed. No, you need. I'm not there anymore, you dumbass. <laughs> oh, I just healed. <laughs> okay, sorry. It took a second for it to come up on screen. Yeah, I was but, pushing the wrong button and I started doing disco dance. <laughs> but yeah, well, I should probably use that opportunity to remind everybody that Dara is now able to actually uh, assist us in some way by, by watching the stream because we are now streaming on hitbox.tv slash pixelpolishlive and on hitbox the delay between what's happening on my screen and what's happening on the viewer's screen is Many school, to say the least. Yeah, yeah like some, maybe like up to four or five seconds, seconds, maybe. Yeah. So you can yeah, follow what's actually going on, and we don't have to share screens on Skype. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for my weekend. I can't really think about anything else. Well, we've changed oh. topics like uh, three times already, so don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, but that in which I case, that leaves anymore. the most important person. Me again. I mean, uh, Pixel. <laughs> what, me again? No, I'm saying that... Uh, never mind. I didn't get the joke, yes. What was the joke again? Uh, I was saying, now let's hear about the most important person's week. Me. Again. <laughs> because I already gave you my week. That's the joke. <laughs> I'm going yeah, now. Jokes. I need to. I need. <laughs> and he has left the building. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm not appreciated here. <laughs> Don't understand my genius. Uh, Stop being your Kenya West again. Well, geniuses are usually oh, an angry Frenchman. You know, after death, after death, somebody will after uh, long after death, somebody will watch this episode and they will laugh their asses off. So, and like, uh, and I'm gonna let you finish. Like, but five of the, the best bananas of all time. Of all time. <laughs> Why do I feel they're gonna be looking at a video of me flying across the sky also a lot? I just keep wondering will the people of the internet of the you know of the future will they be even able to see that? Will the videos be will be still up somewhere? If there Maybe. will be like a YouTube archive? Maybe there'll be a YouTube museum. Yeah, yeah. And it'd be like, what? Only 60 FPS? That's crap. Real, um, real at like now, 370 FPS. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, no. In the future, it will just be. It will be organic. There will. It will be like real life where you don't have FPS. It's just smooth. <laughs> it'll be like, it's not even virtual reality form. Yeah. And it's yeah, exactly. It's not even. It's I can't even. D. I can't even shake the hands with the host of the show. This is crap. I, ca I can't <laughs> even beat up the host. <laughs> I can't even take the host mohawk and put it on my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder, I wonder how this will look like. I'm hoping to just live long enough to see some major, major, major breakthrough. I, I, I want to see us land on Mars, and I want to see us find a proof that aliens exist. Poop that aliens exist? Yeah, I poop. heard the same thing, like, what, do you want to find <laughs> proof of aliens' existence by looking for excrements? <laughs> it's a good way of checking. Uh, uh, it's proof. actually one of the ways, to, uh, one of the definitions of life, ex that you excrete stuff. Well, you know? yeah, that would be uh, pretty good uh, goddamn evidence. But you shouldn't specify. Like, no, no. okay, Better. we found where Better. they eat, we found where they have sex, we found where they uh, where they sleep, but we can't find where they shit, so, you know, no. uh, we haven't found them. One thing I do not want to see in the future 
Those furry guys. Oh, ah, yeah. please, please. They will be everywhere. Everyone will be furry. Everyone no. will have a fursona. No. No. I, I will just be like, Persona transformation! I will just say no <laughs> and just fly away in my jetpack. Nope. Ah, the, the, uh, I, even the robots were the, uh, disgusted by the by the cowgirl. Like they were like, uh, easy it, it, there. It was kind of more weirded out. It's like <laughs> I don't. What am I supposed to do? Cannot compute. <laughs> Cannot compute. Yeah, the, even the robots had enough. If anything, it's the guys that gives you the weirded out, and the girls just like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> That was so funny. I, 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 I'm I gonna rewatch it right after, they, after they the show. They all merged together. And the way they started merging was kind of messed oh, up. Oh, yes. The, the, the final form, the, the gimp. No, the I wasn't even thinking the final drawn. form. That was messed up. But the way they were merging was like, there was like dog piling and like, almost like they were humping each other. Yeah, because they were. It, it, for at least that's that was my conclusion from seeing that. Well, if you think about it, the only way to fuse two humans nowadays is by having sex. Yes, or with stitches. And, and, and furries, you know, fuse all the races at the same time. Of course, hey, uh, you know what? No, there's going to be no furries in the future. You guys don't have to worry. They'll be wiped out by the bronies. <laughs> well, oh, I, I think we can have <laughs> any, like, furries. I, I, I'm hoping it's werewolves that rip people's faces off. You won't be thinking sex things about them. They're gonna rip your face off. I'm sorry. Isn't your entire world that you're designing going to be filled with furries? <laughs> yeah, but they rip uh, your faces off and have big. Yeah, but they're still fucking furries, off. and you have cat girls. Well, anthropomorphic two races, animal two races, races and furries. I would say that's still a little different. Like Hajit from Elder Scrolls and, and that. So Lion guy from the, the video is a little different. Right. The distinction the is you difference. don't want to, is that you if they're walking around in bathing suits and just jiggling their stuff everywhere. And the lion's junk, no. like it, it was just dangling like a huge sack between his legs. That was no. so gross. No, and he my was characters wearing are going to be wearing clothes, full-on clothes <laughs> and armor. <laughs> It's oh just the God. thing is that, so you're saying that it doesn't count as a furry if it's not sexy in any way? Uh, if it's not meant to be portrayed what? sexually? Uh, Dara, yeah. you are not, you are not participating in the fight. Uh, scroll up in, on Skype and I'm not check. doing it. Please. <laughs> I'm not doing Please, it. Please, for the love of God. I'm sorry, my brain works still somewhat, like I have some it's, sanity left. It's just the, a cartoon me, it, from, from... It's not furry if it's college a humor. Just Come saying on. How the, the lion's nuts were hanging Come like a on. fucking potato sack. It was not. It was not. His oh, bare like a nuts. Sack of potatoes. He had a G-string. He was beating someone to death with them. No, he was not. No, no but if he did, I would be surprised. It didn't like they hurt anybody. They just Dara. weirded out everybody. Guys, guys, we need to we need to force him to to watch it because he, guys, we you do know I can just disconnect it. right now. Dara, <laughs> come on. Come on, man, be no, a man. No. Man up. Man, man, man. See, it's it's much more fun for the viewer listening to my confusion because I have no but idea what the, the fuck I, you guys we, are talking about. We want to listen to you after the fact. Come so on, give do, you it. Nightmares. do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Chug. 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 Just be glad it's animated, so you won't it's, have yeah, a bad exactly. nightmare. It's just a cartoon. It's a spoof of 80s cartoons, by the way. It's Guys, way I, worse I, than I, H anime. I know the kind of shits. Uh, it's not anime. Stuff. It's uh, the spoof of American superhero uh, kind of. It's uh, kind of like Captain Planet. It, it, huh? It's kind of like Captain. If Captain Planet was in, was perverted. Yep. I'm going to watch it so you guys can show up now. Yes. Good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna see that, and you're gonna easily know the difference between my characters and theirs. I think so. It's, you know, it's Hopefully educational. So. Yeah, it, it tells you what not to do. See, I always feel like the best way to keep things from turning anything too sexualized is makes it rip people's faces off. If it kills a whole lot of people, <laughs> that's nothing sexy about but it. But then, you know, they can defile the corpse or something. There's always uh, some no. shit I got cornered. <laughs> I'm dying. No. I'm dying. The only kind of... Uh, hello. 
Help, the only the time man. that defiling any of my characters ever do to a corpse would be ripping out their heart so they can eat it. I can. Oh, and I left Blue over there to be cornered by the spiders. I'm gonna have to come back. Can, oh god! Oh god! They're they're trying to hunt me. <laughs> <laughs> I can respect you know. What the hell? This guy uh, keeps following me. The other one. The other one's almost there. Because I, I don't want to go on a date. Okay, we need to get rid of those bastards because there's one more monster, right? One more demon. Yeah, after that there's is the apple apple king. Yeah, okay. I don't want to go on a date with these spiders. This one's almost dead at least, so if we can just yep. get rid of it, that'd be nice. Trying, Try later. Trying. Oh wow. Also, I don't know if you've noticed Ow. earlier, but I was completely baffled by something that happened with the the frost wing. And I'm not sure any of you noticed. <laughs> What was that? You know when it started eating from the ground to recharge its wings? Mm -hmm. I kept my destroyer ready just to break that. And I used my destroyer and absolutely nothing happened. Yeah, so it's, nothing. it happens sometimes. Like I, he didn't even get hit at all. I was uh -huh. right in its face, right uh -huh. under it. Like during some Using of my... Using the freaking destroyer. And it's like, why did nothing happen? Ben. During my latest, uh, one of the latest live streams from Tokiden, uh, it actually happened to me as well. I aimed for the horns, I want to say, of the uh, Chthonian fiend, and just nothing. He didn't even flinch. It was lag. Uh, uh, it was lag. It's in the thing! Yeah! Okay, this one's done. I don't see what you guys are complaining about. That's nothing. <laughs> I swear, I have actually watched now far he's, worse. Now he's being facetious. Now, you see, the thing is, should I be... Well, no, it's should hilarious. I actually talk about some of the worst stuff I've seen? To no, the point it, where I've seen hilarious. boobs... Is it it was just supposed to be funny, not, you know... It's hilarious. I just don't want to ever see that in the future. Oh, oh no, we're going to see that if, all if the way. We make furry character, furry half-breed races... Let them not walk around in underwear with their junk hanging out. Why not? <laughs> Are you? I, I'm sorry, but you're talking to someone who has enough hair to be half gorilla. So you know, <laughs> that's the only exception. No, it's not. It's not sexy at all. I know. That's why that's an exception. It's not. No, it's sexy. not an exception. Are you? So are you it saying that doesn't you want out. them? It's just like, oh, it's a gorilla. Let's put him back in the zoo. <laughs> You know, I would take offense to that. Especially you since... damn dirty ape. <sighs> you know, if I were to say something like, you're a monkey, that's racist. That's the problem, you know? I wouldn't have a problem with it. Uh, no, but what, apparently my what granddad said used to say something was, like that, was so... Uh, Sorry? Oh. I'm just gonna leave you now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we should well, all just make sorry, terrible puns and then I leave. Something that you can't use. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my coat and go. Oh, my you, bad. You're at First your home. Get jokes, you invited then us. Puns. Pixel, what is happening to you? What is happening? What's happening in your week? So that you make terrible puns and don't get jokes. What's your persona, Pixel? <laughs> I, I already told everything about my week. Come on, guys. Let's talk bullshit. Okay, well, I didn't talk too much about uh, Monster Hunter for you because I figured everyone else would be doing that. So, uh, everybody, uh, I think everybody did, and that's why nobody talked in length about Monster Hunter for you. Okay, so my initial p impression is that they, in terms of graphics, they mm. have done nothing for the environments, but they have done everything for the monsters. The, oh, monsters the new look 3DS. Fantastic. You have to. You have to. Uh, sorry. Yes. Yeah. I am using the old one. It's, 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 the textures on the on the monsters are still looking pretty crap. Unfortunately, uh, but they I'm impressed by the change in pace and tactics. Yes, definitely. Caused by the fact that it's no longer just a flat arena. That's the, that that's the biggest in. thing. It's a three-dimensional thing. Like the first time I fought a, a great Yagi, like Jaggy? to me, sorry, Jaggy, the great Jaggy is the biggest bitch and he still is the biggest bitch of all monsters. Well, he, was, he is supposed to be like the first boss, pretty much. Yeah, but they Training, had, they've, uh, you know. they have actually beefed him up quite significantly in the fact that he, uh, when he summons Guy, when he summons Jaggy, they there's now a lot more of them, and they're a lot more aggressive than they used to be. Oh yes, I've seen I've seen that all the 
Jagias or all the all the preys, they are super aggressive sometimes. They will bite your freaking face off relentlessly. Yeah, I'm just trying to mine, and then suddenly five eye or preys, and I'm like, nope, I'm not mining this rock. They will not let me. Ever. They are the trolls now. I mean, they oh. are already pretty trolly in the second generation games, like when they would jump on you and you would just fly away and roll on the ground for 30 seconds. But that's nothing compared to what I've seen in, in For You. Yeah, I don't have a real problem with them. Uh, eh, it's just, I had I gone the used impression. To the rats. The rats? From those sacrifice always trying to hunt me. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah, those. Sorry, I was just wondering, rats have not come across those yet. Uh, one other thing that I really appreciate, the fact that not every single monster is just a big lizard. There oh, are the... other things. There are insects, there are yes, spiders. There, there, there's, that's one of the traits of for you. There's definitely way more insects that, insects that, they, that there ever was. Because there, there was only the Vespoid Queen, and that was it. Uh, oh, and yeah, the, well, the crabs. A giant uh, well, I was talking, talking about insects. I was not uh, talking about. Okay, the... sorry, but, but yeah, it's the, the fact that it's not everything is a goddamn lizard now, oh, and I right. love that. Iguana. Okay, uh, an iguana. Hilfe. Those are lizards. Hilfe. Iguana. Hilfe. Guys, help Pixel. <laughs> I'm helping Guys. Pixel. I took a big rock to the face. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the monster occupied. It's not working too You're well. You're not doing a good That's job. There. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. See, it jumped away. I'm fine. Thank you. See, so this is the kinds of the mistakes that you don't want to do in Master Hunter. Because you'd be, you know, just dead. Yeah. See, right now would be the well, time I would walk away and drink a, a mega potion. And, ca and cart it back to the camp in shame. Yeah. Uh, what else is there that I like? There's a fair amount, but those are the big things that I am impressed by. And Christian, could you mount in the previous games? No, no, no. no, uh, no well, no. you could technically. I love that. I you love could technically ride, ride it some is of the huge. Do, since I figured out how to do the it. The Genmaran doesn't count. You're not holding on for dear life while you're yeah, riding yeah, yeah, them and not stabbing mounting, them in the face. You could ride like the, some of the even the second generation dragons. Stop like, turning around, damn it! But yeah, uh, if we play Lao together, Shanlong. I will be the sole. I will just be mounting the monster repeatedly. <laughs> uh, that's now the box quote. Yeah, uh, that's, blue yeah. will mount the monster repeatedly. <laughs> Uh, remember that, like, we're still in browsers, it seems. Yeah, well, <laughs> I never said it, uh, you know, that we were, so we were supposed to change the tone of the of the show. No, no, well, but, uh, hey. It's the browsers podcast. Well, I'm gonna mount the shit out of that thing. <laughs> out of those monsters. You're just you know, going Oh, yeah. Deep oh, deep. oh yeah. That means you're just All going night long. And then I'm gonna it stab means... them repeatedly. Oh, yeah. Not with, uh, no with, with my knife, I mean. With my knife. Of oh, course. Of course knife. Wink, of wink. Course <laughs> With my Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, but it makes me curious, Blue. Since you've played online, did you edit your shoutouts or did you keep the default ones? Because I'd be curious to know what what have you put for shoutout when you mount a monster. Oh, yeah, I will be putting some. Oh no, I haven't very changed it yet, stuff. but I plan to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want to change mine. Like when I mount a monster, what it says is, "Let me hug you, sweetie." I thought you were going oh, to say something like, uh, no, clench up, I'm going in right. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking about something along those lines. I don't know why, but I want to say you can't just walk into Mordor. Uh, but uh, there's one thing that I also really like is that now the hammer is actually, you can combo off of the mm -hmm. swing of the hammer into a lunge, into a into a flying attack so that you can mount the monster. Yep. Which is we, we, super I nice. did that with, uh, with my friend when we were fighting uh, Black Gravios. We wanted to break its back before it died, and mid was like, Hey, hey, swing me up, Bobby! Use a great sword and swing me above and try to mount it! And then we tried and we failed at least oh. 10 times before we actually managed to mount it and the back broke. The only way they could do uh, better for the mounting system is if what they did to Dragon um, Dragon uh, Dog. Dragon's that would mm -hmm. be kind of difficult, though, especially on a handheld. But yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, what you're I know. About. That, that's the downfall of putting it on a handheld. Maybe it could be possible on a Vita. 
But what exactly? What mechanics uh, exactly are you talking about right now? Well, dragon yeah, mounting. Sorry. I mean, uh, I know, but what is it? Well, for dragon dogma, it's like you can like climb it, like walk on it and shit. Like you climb ah, it. Ah, yes, across yes, it. yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I now I know what you're talking about. Kind of like a uh, um, shadow of colossus. Yeah. You ever played that? Nope, but I know what you mean. Yeah, but that kind of stuff is reserved for monsters like Drildo. That's what I call Darwin Moran. He's a Drildo. Why not? I won't want every because monster to climb it like because that. Because it's a drill. It really is a dildo. Drildo. Yeah, yes, Dragon's yes, Dogma really could like hold, hold to the uh, to the fur and and climb it. On well, some or, on I would like fur, to on the like furries, if they at least. added in future games where I can have a mount and go into ma just. Use it as a vehicle or something. I don't know. I just want to uh, ride a monster. No, just walk around like a you know like a man. No, man. I want to ride a monster. You're I want a to bitch. ride into town on a monster. Yeah, but then other monster hunters try to kill it and you die. I don't know. No, it's my Raytheon. Stop doing that. Ah. Well, in Frontier, at least you've got like monster pets, so you can have a ma monster pet coming with you for the, to the quest. And take that and just make it where I can ride it. <laughs> just have monster races. Just add a just add a mini game uh, called monster races. You just want to mount things the all the time. Don't never shoot stop. each other on different monsters. The innuendos never stop. I, I just, just want to mount it. it. I just want to ride it. It's like you can capture a monster and then you can race against each other. So, but why would the monster do anything for you? Because I feed it. Uh, yeah, you'll pr it'll probably try to eat you. Yeah, it'll try, no, try to try to kill you it. because it's meant Keep to be a monster it, that's it'll free. Be okay, as soon as I stop feeding it, it will probably eat me. Uh, th no, that's not how animals work, you dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got dogs to, to be nice Angry to us. Irish man that man. took so many years of evolution and training. You, <laughs> if you took a while, to go ahead, find a dingo. Find a fucking dingo and feed it, and try to lure it back like a pet. <laughs> well, you you don't take a fully grown one. Yeah, but mostly monsters in Monster Hunter are fully grown because we don't hunt babies, you monster. Well, we steal eggs. Well, yeah, I was about to I say don't. there's just there's just eggs and and fully grown ones, nothing in uh, between. Yeah, I actually steal never an egg and you raise it. I hate no. the whole thing of hey, stealing eggs, mostly because it's annoying. Mostly because it's annoying. Yeah, there's some ban random Bonabra flying by and... Ding! Quest failed. What I hate uh, is I can't even place the egg down. Huh? You can't place the egg down. Pick the egg to go away and continue the fighting, get it over, and pick up the egg back. Like, I can't even put the egg down. I put it down, it breaks. What the hell? I should be able to put it down so then I can kill the monster that's trying to kill me and then well, that's, the, the, that's the thing that's the whole challenge you, you you're not supposed to you need to get it to the from point e to point uh, from point a to point b without taking How a is break it safer when i put the egg in a chest because it has it's padding in, in the chest, chest. <laughs> the it's chest has excuses, padding man. it's making excuses yeah. I'm counting on you to break the upper body parts, by the way. I'm gonna keep my destroyer for the giant wings. Yeah, I'm working on it. Um, we, need to, we need to destroy this guy fast, because this is going too long. You know, I, I can admit the reason why I like mounting is probably because of token and how I can climb people with my two daggers. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, one I, of the things that really caught me the first time I played Tokidon. That's why, that's why I've been saying... Uh, some Vita haters can say what they want about the Vita uh, hunting action games, but it's actually thanks to those games, Capcom finally, like, had some sort of competition and had and there were some good ideas in those games. So they yeah. have implemented them in their own way, and finally Master Hunter moved on because well, it I still didn't feel... change that much for the last ten years. I still feel like Capcom moved over to the uh, Nintendo, so they don't have to beat work as hard. But uh, yeah, I really you enjoy the game. Be confused. Because literally, they have no competition on the Nintendo system. They have um, 
they because the system is graphically less powerful, they don't have to put as much work. Yeah, they they can rehash the same PlayStation 2 engine over and over and over and over. Yep. And fools like us will buy it. Yep. Yep. That's the uh, problem. Is that we we don't want to encourage it, but then we buy it because we want it. We want it so badly. But, but you see, at least uh, people like us can acknowledge that fact. But there are raging fanboys on the internet that will not let you say anything, like any criticism about Nintendo, the game, the 3DS, all of it. Yeah, uh, I did well, something about that. A lot of the core there, problems is mainly with the fact of how the th the 3DS is designed. One, yeah. two joysticks is awesome. 3DS? No, only one little thing. Circle pad. And then now they added this little nub thing. It kind of works, but it's not, it's not I, I call it a tit. It's literally a tit. It kind of works, but it's not perfect. This doesn't yeah, no, but yeah. The bad thing with that button is when you have a problem with your hands getting very moist while you're playing. If your hands get moist, they just slide off right, right off the button. And Actually, yeah, I was, I was talking about that uh, with my German YouTubing friend, Snipe Origin, and he said that he had the exact same issue, and he found some little nubs that you put on furniture legs. Those tiny, mm -hmm. but very tiny ones, and he put something like that on it. It has some ridges and, and stuff like that. So, finally, now he can. S Why? What? Did we just destroy his wings when he just grew new ones? Uh, why have I wasted my destroyer? Was wasn't I supposed to break the wings? I told you I kept mine for the wings. Oh. Hey, he oh, did. Never, never mind. Must have get gotten sidetracked. Okay, but their arm is already orange, so... Dang it, he moved out of the way! I hate it when that happens. that arm. <laughs> yeah, so, when we were discussing about the 3DS ergonomics... Ergonomics, er, er, well, quote and uh, unquote ergonomics. Yeah, uh, that reminds me. Uh, but, like, I've then there's other games that it, it, the 3DS does not make problems for. Okay, uh, sorry, Blue, but uh, what were you saying, Banana? Yeah, because I've made a post uh, on Facebook complaining about the 3DS ergonomics, saying that this freaking tit of a button is a pain to use when trying to control the camera and actually play the damn game, that the console just wasn't good for the game. And the first response I got was from a freaking Nintendo drum kind of person, of course. It's like, get good! No, I don't yeah. have to get good. Capcom has to put the game on a fucking console that will actually be good for hosting the damn game. But Plus, it doesn't even help. To be honest, I'm joking, I think joking. most of your complaint would be more to the Nintendo design of putting a, a, a tit on the device rather than... Yeah, not Capcom. Yeah, Capcom's not going to move That was, a, like, in big letters in my comment, like, all we needed was a circle pad. What we got was a fucking tit. Well, the yeah, thing that I was last time I used it was in 1995 on some, on an old school laptop, which was then of, of course top of the line. But that was the literally the last time I used the the, the such a nipple to control anything. See, the thing like, is, I, I feel have. They Sorry, go ahead. Put, they should have moved the buttons down a little, maybe, and then put a circle pad there, and that start and select button should have been right next to the home button, like they used to be. Uh, but yeah. uh, the thing is, I just I have no problem with it because I use a uh, my uh, thumbnail to move the, use the nipple. But at the same time, yeah, it can. Yeah, yeah. It's it's nice though they, why didn't they just something. go the tried and true method of a second analog stick? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but that's the thing is that that's the real question. Why didn't they just do that? Well, I mastered using it to go left and right, but I, and I can go up, but I just can't go down really good. Yeah, going down yeah, is a pain in the ass with that. Sometimes, eh, for some reason, for me, it doesn't work. It's just I'm not sure if it's that I'm doing it wrong or something. But I, I just luckily, the two games the I kind of use it on, um, I can just lock on to the monsters or whoever I'm fighting. Yeah, the target Jura's cam mask is like and, uh, a big monster. health when it comes to avoiding using the tit. Yeah, at least they did that in the game itself, so that yeah. helps a lot. And bit. one other thing is that the uh, you can configure so that the Z buttons can turn left and right. Really? Oh. Yep. 
Fuck, I didn't know that. That's uh, interesting. It's, it's something that actually was in uh, 3U as well, if you had the Circle Pad Pro. And Which is cool, is because, I'm as I've said, I'm getting the Circle, circle Pad Pro, so good to know, good to know. Yeah, so yeah, I will have two, two methods of controlling the camera, but but still, <laughs> I will probably just use the Circle Pad Pro for it. True, but it's just uh, for... Every well, alternative, yeah. <clears throat> well, it's far more useful to have your index fingers on the uh, ZL and ZR buttons turning left and right and using uh, your thumb to... Yeah, your, your thumb button. on the action button, on the actual <laughs> face buttons. True, 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 true. Uh, that's what I do most of the time, but still, everyone has their own method. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. On, I, you know, I have held 3DS maybe once or twice in my hands, so I will have to adjust to it. That's why, actually, ergonomics is one of the reasons that I never, never went for any 3DS because after trying it, I was like, no. Well, normally I didn't have problems with 3DS because most of their games do not need uh, that much buttons. And victory, finally. Like, most of them are RPGs. Yeah, if it's a slow game, uh, I can see that not being a problem at all. Yeah, so for slow games, there's... Every control scheme doesn't matter half as much, but on the fly well, no, stuff, like, it's important. Some of the best games they have is, like, RPGs and, like, platformers. And platformers... Yeah, you only need the D-pad and the face buttons. Four base buttons and your movement. Yep. Yeah. Control. But okay, the finally, the SNES. finally finished this one. Oh, they took a long time. Our well, I was supposed to kind of pl plan this so the podcast will be shorter, but uh, yeah, it's still hour and thirty minutes. At least the recording it will be shorter, a little bit shorter. What? The... I gotta sell materials. No. What? Oh, you have yeah. too many. Oh my God, he didn't do all the all the quests. So his storage is kind of tiny, probably. Uh. Bless you. Uh, but okay, that was fun. Uh, as usual, mou mou our mouths were not closing, and that's the whole idea. So good. Okay, taken uh, care of. But yeah, I have too much, too many different, too many items now. When I come yeah, back to you'll the room, need to sell a few Dara, the just to mm -hmm. wave goodbye. I'm on my way back in it now. Okay. So that was a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And enjoyed our banter about random shits and giggles and, and brothers and, and the innuendos. <laughs> Who's your favorite porn star, Pixel? Uh, do we really want to go there? Okay, fine. Bitch. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> we have to leave something for the next time. Come on. There's yeah. God knows how many episodes still ahead of us. Stand on my on my right. Never. Never never To right. Over yeah. here? Yep. Yes. There's enough space on this uh, this way. There we go. And be careful not to crack his nuts with your dance. <laughs> so okay, well, thank you guys first. for watching. That was fun. I hope it was for you as well. Uh, remember that we have moved from Twitch TV slash Pixel Polish to hitbox.tv slash Pixel Polish Live. One word. All the live recordings will be held there every two weeks, maybe more often when I get the 3DS. And because there will be a lot of games like Tukiden Kiwami, Master Hunter, possibly. Soon thereafter, got it or two, and hell knows what what next. So I don't. Maybe there will be a time when just two episodes a month will be not enough. <laughs> but I will see, I guess. So be sure to follow the channel. Uh, the link will be in the video description below and probably somewhere on the screen as well. And we hope to see you there next time. And see ya. Take care. Bye bye. See ya. Safe hunts. <laughs>